All right, so I'm gonna be removing the SSD in this 13 inch MacBook Pro model A1502 mid 2014. So first thing you're gonna need is a Pentalobe uh, 1.2 or P5 screwdriver. And we're gonna take out <clears throat> all these screws. You wanna keep them in order because they are different size, shape and lengths. The way I do that is I put them with the flat side down like this in the pattern I remove them. So it's in this rectangular pattern. So that's how I put them just like that, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna put them on my desk over here out of the way. And if you're wondering, um, most of these screws are the same, but the two back ones in the middle here are shorter than the rest. All right, if this video does happen to help you with your computer, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and continue removing all these screws. Just like this. go all right once you get all those screws out we're gonna just pop this cover off again the customer just wants the data so I don't know if I need to clean all this out it is pretty gross so I'm gonna clean it out anyways all right I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a bit <clears throat> all right I'm back just cleaned up a little bit of the dust all right it was pretty bad there's a lot of stuff stuck on there all right, now we're going to switch over to a T5 or Torx 5 bit. Again, we're just going to be removing the SSD to try and see if we can get the data out. So there's one screw here. I'm gonna take that out. And then to remove the SSD, you kind of just lift it up and pull it back. All right, just like that. And we got the SSD out. It is pretty dusty on it, so I'm gonna clean that as well. All right. Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you want a complete disassembly video or how to remove the battery and things like that, I have other videos showing those. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Just removing the SSD. We're going to put the SSD screw back in just so we don't lose it. All right. Put this cover back on. All right just like that and then we'll put back the rest of the screws I'm actually gonna leave um, a lot of the screws out for now just in case I have to open it back up but I'm gonna put the four corner screws anyways hopefully this video helped you guys if it did please like subscribe um, you can actually replace these types of SSDs with a m.2 PCIe NVMe but you will need an adapter and yeah again hopefully this video helped you guys if it did please like subscribe share my channel with others Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.